Chess boxing was pretty fun. Did you guys watch it at all? I was there. I had the seats that were like the best worst seats. For the boxing, my seats were like incredible. For the chess part, not the best seats. It turns out sitting on the floor does not give you a very good view of a chess board that's raised like three or four feet from the ring and then raised on a table. I showed up during KJH versus Fiction, yeah. Shirtless in the ring playing Melee was really funny. Yeah, I think generally they call it super early for people who are like not experienced boxers, which makes sense because you don't want people to get fucked up. Yeah, a lot of them went in with no gear. I would probably also go in with no headgear if I was gonna do it because like, you know, Fuck it. I think a good example is Myth. He fought, what was that guy's name? Sherdelis? Yeah, that guy was a character. Holy shit. His friends were in the audience and they were walking around with giant bongs, a selfie stick that was eight feet long, walking around like, wee, just like doing this like the whole time. And I was like, who's this random stoner who's just like walking around doing this? And then they were in the video and walked out for the intro. And I was like, that makes a lot of sense. I live in California. I know like 15 of this guy. During the intro, there was a girl that was carrying a possum on a leash. After the intro was over, like security walked up to her and was like, ma'am, you have a possum? And it was like in her purse. And she's like, uh, she's like, he's just vibing in my purse, I think is what she probably said. And they're like, yeah, you gotta go. Of all the people there, Hugs punches look the, the heaviest. I think he looked like he hit the hardest, especially relative to his weight class. Cause he's not one of the heavier fighters. He is just in shape and he just fucking hits hard. That's a rough thing to beat. Myth versus Sherdelis is also very fun to watch because I think neither of them really gave a fuck about the chess. And also, yeah, Andrea Botez, she clearly really went hard on the boxing. She looks scary as fuck too. The streets know she won the match. Everybody knows what happened there. The amount of booing for the ref, I don't know how easy it was to hear on stream, but boy, he got a standing boovation. Getting mad at the ref is just a national pastime. It, it's probably some gamer's first time ever being mad at a ref. The chess match with like the highest rated people was the funniest because like their chest was going back and forth. First boxing round happens and then he just gets fucking TKO'd right away. You're like, what? You th I thought that was gonna be definitely the most chess focus match and then it's like the opposite it's like immediately like uh all right that was a cool event it's a really cool idea because like i think a lot of people love the chess stuff that has been happening like low level chess is really fun to watch boxing and creators like fighting each other is so popular lately watching them just get punched in the head and then come sit down and try to like play chess again pretty funny it's very easy for you to just be like you know this is just a bunch of people who are not great at chess and not great at boxing, but it's really actually entertaining. I could not believe how long I stayed. I thought I would stay for a few matches and then like toe versus hugs would happen and I'd be out of there maybe, but like I, I didn't leave until right at the very end. I had to go feed the cats and I didn't want to get stuck in traffic because I had to park in the parking structure next door and I was like on the roof. You guys know chat. I was a wrestler and a wrestling coach for a long time. And I used to follow MMA a lot and I've done a little bit of like kickboxing and BJJ and other stuff before. So I don't think people realize how easy it is for you to just get fucked up. And like, I don't even mean in a ring. Somebody is wrestling someone else and then their leg or knee or arm or elbow or something goes where it should not go. And then all of a sudden on something completely routine, it happens. Or you're sparring or wrestling or whatever, and then someone from somewhere else flies into you while you're wrestling someone else, because that can happen. The important thing is like, you are gonna get exhausted. And the key to getting better at sports like this and, and building your cardio is you have to get exhausted and then keep doing it for longer and longer and longer and longer. And then you have to train while exhausted so that you can perform while being as tired as possible. So like a lot of people for stuff like this, I'm sure their training is like they train and then when they're tired, they stop, but it's like, that's, that's not how you actually have stamina in the ring or something, you know? People don't think like, oh, if you wanna be in good shape for boxing, you just do cardio a lot. It helps, but it's not the same. You have to get used to like doing the thing as cardio, basically. Sitting on a, an elliptical or something for like four hours is not how you get in shape for hockey. You gotta like put on fucking skates and like all of your shit and then go out there and skate up and down and play hockey for like four hours. Like the people who looked good in the ring and didn't look tired, you can tell that they really put in time in the ring to be ready.
And anybody who just immediately looked gas, they probably did not put in the same amount of time or they didn't put in time in the same way as their, as the people who are like really just out there boxing for forever. It's brutal. I also think anybody who agrees to something like that is a beast. You gotta be pretty brave to go fight someone to the death. Would I do it if it approached? Yeah, 100%. I get to go do something I used to do all the time. And it's like actually for a good reason besides just like, I want to box for fun, but uh, otherwise I'm not sure. I, I would rather, I like grappling more than striking though. The way I wrestled was not like a grappler in a video game. I had really good defense and wrestled like quite slow and I had really good cardio. I would almost always win because I would build a lead and then my opponent was either too tired or like too behind to win. I had like no offense on the ground. I was really bad at it, but my escapes, were really good and my neutral was really good. So I, it didn't really matter. My Oki was terrible, basically, is the way you think about it. It was just miserably bad. In fact, the way to make my offense better on the ground is I learned, essentially, there's like two sides that you can start trying to do offense from top position in wrestling. The left side is like the side that most people pick by default. I learned how to run offense from the right side. And the reason is, most people are not as good at defending on that side and my offense was shitty. So even though my offense sucked, like I had a better chance because I just learned an unorthodox style, basically. The stuff you know you're not good at, you do what you can to make it work, but you're like, okay, this is not my biggest strength and I'm not gonna play to it, it's fine. Listen. Everybody was like, who's gonna be the fighting game equivalent of this? Like, I don't know if anybody would want to do it, really. You know how like long you have to train and get ready for something like that? Leffen versus XQC, now we're talking. He seems like he's not in the most, uh, the best shape for it. Latif in the mirror match? That's a, a, I don't know if he can win that. 